Was ist das hier? Ein neuer Mercedes E22.000. Die haben das Video so angefangen. Ah, bei einem Türk, wenn Türken Tok zum ersten Mal sehen. Ah, meine Gehirn. Ah, meine Gehirn. Ja. Warte mal, wir gehen nochmal rein, la. Tschüss. Warte mal kurz. The new 2024 Mercedes E-Class better than S-Class. Interior and exterior real first look. Ich zeig euch mal, wie das aussehen würde, wenn wir jetzt gerade den neuen Talk geguckt hätten. Stellt euch vor, stellt euch vor, nicht E-Klasse wird vorgestellt, sondern Talk. Bruder, ist doch viel geiler, ja? Warum, warum diese spannende Musik und so? Weißt du, was ich meine? Warum? Warum diese Dings jetzt? Macht doch diese Musik, Bruder. Oder dann ist man auch gleichzeitig stolz. E24 Model Mercedes-Benz E-Class. As Mercedes-Benz showed us the W213 E-Class back in 2016 with... 2016, 2000, ja. Yeah. Ich sage euch ganz ehrlich, so auf dem ersten Blick sieht mir das zu GLK aus. Das sieht mir nach einem GLK aus, an Leon. Z in Detroit and then in 2020 while COVID times they showed us the facelifted version of Oh, the facelift? Yeah. Facelift? Yeah, I find the E-Class, the here oben finde ich eigentlich schon ganz nice. That now it's time for a completely rechange. Right in front of us. Yeah, completely rechange. Ich weiß nicht. Diese, was Neues sind die LED-Scheinwerfer. Ist gar nicht mein Geschmack. Sieht mir nach GLK aus. Ähm, das finde ich sehr krass. Aber dass das mit so einem Schwarz, diese, genau diese schwarze Umrandung hier, wo meine Maus gerade lang geht, das finde ich wieder Müll. Aber den Grill finde ich krass. Hier, der Grill. We have the all new W214 E-Class and in today's video I want to give you a full tour of this showing you all the exterior highlights and what came new with the new generation E-Class afterwards. Ah, also oh, Interieur sieht krass aus, Digga. Da kann man nichts sagen, Leute, kommt. Sehr, sehr clean. Wow, sauber. Endlich sind wir weg von diesem alten Interieur und haben wir, wow, das sieht sehr gut aus, Digga. Last but not least, we'll finish it off. Scheiße, Alter, Tok hat eine dicke Konkurrenz bekommen. With a resume. So right in front of us, we have the latest generation E-Class. It's not a facelift or else, it's a W214 E. Okay, das ist kein facelift oder sonstigen Scheiß. Das ist die neueste Edition, also neues Modell, neue Serie. Class and we have a lot of changes just by the exterior, by the design, by the interior. So let's get on and let me tell you more. Ja, geht. Also hier vorne, das Ding hier ist gleich wie vom alten, wenn er von der alten E-Klasse. Was Neues sind die Lichter, was jetzt auch meiner Meinung nach nicht besser gemacht worden ist. Äh, die Niere finde ich auf jeden Fall besser gemacht. Aber so von vorne, dieses Schwarze hier sieht mir zu GLK-mäßig aus. All about the new E-Class. First things first, 50% of all the available engine specs will be plug-in hybrid model. Von hinten, okay, Auspuffrohre geklaut 1 zu 1 vom BMW 5er. 1 zu 1 geklaut vom BMW 5er. Ganz klare Sache. Hatte Mercedes noch nie was mit zu tun mit solchen Dingern. Models. Apart from that, the E-Class is now a bit larger. I think it grew by 22 millimeters. Oh, sehr stark. Die Lichter sehr stark. Also da, diese, dieses, dieser Stern hier, sehr stark, aber diese, das sieht mir... By the wheelbase, we have a completely rechange by the exterior design. So let's get on and let's start with the walk around. First of all, amazing color option. is a new option coming with the new E-Class. It's called Verde Silver. Beautiful exterior paint. I love that. Ja, so sieht aus wie so ein E-Auto. And here we have the AMG line option. Right over there we have the progressive line, non-AMG line option, which is coming straight from factory. This one is the optional, more sportier looking one. Let me just unveil this one for you. And here we have... Und das soll AMG sein? Was, Alter? Der sieht ja von vorne aus wie so einem... Geburt. The other option, the, the base option, the E-Class. Come in here, Nautic Blue. We have the progressive line exterior option. And also 
Sieht aus wie sein Chodjuk von vorne, Land, den man so ab und zu Shane gibt. So with the standing star in the front, but we will be mainly focusing on the AMG line, which we have here finished in Verde Silva. So let's get on and... Verde Silva. So, Silva, diese Farbe sollte lieber heißen Merde Silva. Let's start with the walk around. Müll. Und dann let me show you through the all new E-Class. First things first, we have a completely new front. Just look at the face of the new ja, die Sterne sind E-Class. With the new uh. face, we have a completely makeover on the headlight unit. Here we have a straight LED line, as you can see here. And then we have these two LED. Schlimm. He's giving the e Diese zwei Dinger, sehr schlimm. Alles so... Yeah, wavy. Wir sind so wellig. Ne? Das ist mir zu viel. Wavy. Yeah, we are wave. We are hippie. And Alice, everything is wavy. Oder was ist das, ja? E-Class, a new eye, as you can see, is really cool design. Still having two separate lights. Was ist daran cool, Digga? Here showing us that this is surf and turf. In e class I really love the way they made this and also in it Ich zeig euch mal gleich den neuen 7 ab. <lacht> Aber egal, wir sind hier mal machen mal. Listen to that. It kind of looks like it's connected with the grill just by the black panel we have here. It's also something we know from the EQ models, but instead of that we have a real grill with the cool Mercedes-Benz star pattern integrated. We have a full chrome grill here looking super super luxurious and also for the first time ever You can't see it that clearly right now, but the grill is illuminated. You have some LED bars inside here. Aha, er sagt, der Grill ist von Illuminaten gemacht worden, Leute. And also on the top, as soon as you look from... Ja, yeah, das sieht geil aus. Below you can clearly see that and you also have that while driving. It's something really, really cool. We have the front camera here. We have the 3D Mercedes-Benz star emblem, which is standing straight. Back in the days, I think it used to be a bit more tilted. And then... As we have the AMG line here, we have the front bumper. And this one, as soon as you have a closer look, it's also finished with an ah, hat auch diese Mercedes -Sterne. nice Mercedes-Benz star pattern here, which gives this a very, very cool and nice and sporty touch. We have the Nike package on this vehicle. That's why all the parts in the front are finished in black gloss. As you see with the non-Nike package car in the back you have a lot of chrome trim on the exterior as well now let's talk about the side of the car in total as i mentioned by the wheelbase we have a growth of 22 millimeters we need that because now we have even more space for the rear passengers in addition to that i have to mention something we have some really really cool lines coming with the body of the new e-class and these two lines as you can see here by the shoulders they really do remind me of the traditional mercedes-benz design language which okay i mind diese kante die hier kommt hier wieder verläuft dann fängt die hier wieder an bis hierhin which we already know from let's say the 300 ja, das sieht schon ganz nice aus. But SL, even that model had these iconic lines. I really love them. And in addition to that, we also have the seamless door handles, which we already know from mostly every Mercedes-Benz nowadays. It's with the S-Class, EQS, whatever, also illuminated here. Und wieder Illuminaten. It's also really cool how that is floating inside the body. As soon as I lock it, they move back inside. This is also the key, which is actually the same key as ja, Bruder, Mann, Alter. Was bist du für ein verfuckter Heckenpenner, Digga? Junge, du machst eine neue Serie, du kleiner Schwanz. Ja, ändere doch deinen Schlüssel. Was ist daran so schwer, du Idiot? As we have with the new S and C. And also now available for the latest generation of the E. As we have the night package, everything here is finished in black gloss. I just love the bold shoulders. It's really looking super, super sporty with the lines. Extremely nice finish here with the night package in black gloss. The wheels here, we have 20 inch multi-spoke full black gloss finish AMG line. Was? 20 spost? Wheels. But with the new E-Class, you can go up to 21 inches. It's really Die Felgen haben irgendwas, aber irgendwas auch zu viel E-Tronic. Really, really cool to have these big sizes for, for base E-Class models. For the E-Class, also an option, we have the rear axle steering coming with 4.5 degrees, reducing the turning circle, I think, up to 90 centimeters. Warum mache ich das nicht? 1,5 Geschwindigkeit meters which is a lot especially when you drive a car around the cities and now let's talk about the rear and here we have it here we have the all new e-class rear and with the rear we 
von hinten ganz komisch irgendwie, ja, weiß ich nicht, Digga, zu wavy, wavy. We have a completely new look. Just the design of it, it looks super, super elegant and really, really cool. I really love that. And my highlight of the rear is definitely the taillights. Because with the taillights, we now have two Mercedes-Benz stars here integrated. I really love that also by the ja, design language, geil. which we already know from. Die Sterne sind geil. From the front, also aero improved on the side, full chrome finish. Reminded me a lot of the S-Class. Then here, the center part, we already had that with the GLT, for example. It's not illuminated, but it's cool. Ah, wenigstens das hinter, hintere Teil ist nicht mehr von Illuminatis. It looks like it's, it's connected, but it's not. It's just for the looks. But this one is finished in a dark red finish with the GLT, for example, it's full black finished. Full chrome bar here, giving us very, very luxurious vibes. Even the Mercedes-Benz star here in the back, you can see that. Even this one is curved. It's so cool, giving this a very sporty touch with the rear tail. And here the exhaust tips are really huge for the AMG line, but unfortunately, these are just for the look. Just covers, as you can see, as soon as... Oh my God! You look down oh my god down under the car you can see the real ones but all in all guys how do you like the <laughs> oh my god oh my god mercedes ist wieder mal am start mit den fake auspuffrohren wir sind für eine grüne welt kommen sie jetzt in mercedes und steigen sie an in den peace of love wir sind grün the rear of the all new W214 E Class. With this E Class being hybrid, I think we are talking about the E300 here. Right hand side, you can pump it up with gas. On the left hand side, you can charge it. You can see it right over here. Ja, okay, ist, warte mal, ist ein Elektro, ne? There we go. And all in all, das wusste ich jetzt nicht. That's it for the exterior. Now let's talk about the inside. This das wusste ich jetzt nicht. Wenn ein Elektro ist, ist klar, aber Tesla hat das, braucht das auch nicht. Weißt du, was ich meine? Warum macht das Mercedes dann? Anlören. Wenn du keinen Schwanz hast, dann hör auf so zu tun, als hättest du einen Schwanz. Anlören. This is the all new interior of the latest generation E-Class. Let me just jump inside and give you a closer look, especially here on the animation. Maximal, ne? Also hier brauchen wir nicht drüber reden. There we go. Crazy. With the E-Class now we have complete change in the interior. Just by uh, the door panel. Scheiße, jetzt hat Top eine Konkurrenz, ja. As you can see here we have this 3D part, which you already know from the C-Class. Oder wie geil das aussieht. Das sieht richtig krank aus, Alter. Auch diese hier, diese Dings hier. Also this that handle, which you also know from the C-Class, the EQE, for example. Boah. Now the E-Class also comes with the 4D Bomesa Sound System, which we know from the Maybach. This is crazy. And now in the inside of the E-Class, we have not a hyperscreen, we have the so-called super screen. The difference between the hyperscreen and this screen here is that the third display is not connected with the other two here. And we have way more features. This is the latest technology now available for the E-Class, making the E-Class even more attractive than the S-Class and EQS, in my opinion. The system is so cool. We also have a camera here on top. We have the active ambient color surrounding you. We also have it here worked inside the air vents down here as well. Finally, now this center console, this part here comes from factory standard in wooden trim. They just saw my videos and now they've realized that it's not a good option. Finally, there's also a second option and you can still go with the piano trim if you want. Interior full leather trim. We have a very bright, nice leather. I think it's Neva gray interior here. We have the panoramic sunroof and the all new super screen. I will be doing a separate video on the super screen where I explain the whole infotainment, the whole system in total. But there's one thing I can tell you that this is by far one of the best working infotainment system energy the type is gerade in berlin man. i've ever seen in my entire life it's not laggy at all it is used to be with the hyper screen now with the latest mb also ich finde dieses weiße carbon finde ich schon sehr ansprechend os is a new operating system they have done with google i think we have Innenraum Müll, nee, Bruder, ich finde das genau mein Geschmack gerade. The Android Mercedes-Benz Store, where you can download, for example, apps like TikTok or Angry Birds, Zoom. You can actually have Zoom calls inside your E-Class now while stationary. And I think that will be also available when driving autonomous. It's really cool for that you have the camera. You can also just take selfie pictures if you want. It's something really cool. The code drive is this place right over here. And with this one now, you can also stream and watch movies if you want. And you can also do that while driving, but it will be not visible for the driver. I will be demonstrating you that in the future is one of the coolest things. The main display, the driver's display is the exact same one as we have in the S-Class and this one you can also turn off 3D on off. The AMG line steering wheel we already knew that with the old E-Class it's exactly the same one. All in all you have a lot of space. Yeah, that's the card can we have shown. It's in the inside. You have way more headspace now. You have a lot of light coming in the inside throughout the panoramic sunroof. We have a lot more interior back options now available. I mentioned it. Bomester 4D system coming now. The whole experience of driving this car is now completely rechanged. It's completely improved. All in all guys how do you like the interior? If you want to watch the full detailed interior view of the new E-Class check the info box above because I will be doing a separate 
video on this. But now let's just jump outside and finish it off with a resume. Before I finish it off, let me also show you the back passengers here. The seat row, you have a lot of space, as I mentioned, also a lot of light coming in the inside. We also have the ambient color surrounding you, as we have the AMG line here also with the AMG floor mats. I really enjoy also sitting in the back of the new E-Class. I did, and it's amazing. Let me also show you the trunk. You can just open it by pressing it. And now in the inside of the trunk, even though we have a hybrid model, as you can see, it's a straight and full space you can use. You don't even see the difference because in size-wise, it's exactly the same size as the predecessor E-Class, even though we have a hybrid model here. This is something I really appreciate and I really love. How do you guys like it? Rückbank für die Lara natürlich, ganz wichtig, ne? So that's it basically for today's video, guys. How do you like the latest generation 2024 model Mercedes-Benz E-Class, the W214 model? I have to say something. I really like it. I really do. The exterior, I'm a huge fan of the front, of the new grille, the headlights, the taillights are super, super fancy. Ja, wesig nicht, Digga. Ich halte davon nicht so viel. Was sagt ihr?